How's it going everyone? Jesse Slamorella here. Um, this is just going to be kind of a, a random discussion. I don't really going to call it a rant or a vine or anything like that. It's going to be too long for that shit. Uh, so basically, last night I was kind of having a discussion about uh, people kind of pointing their fingers at me and kind of going, Ah, oh, you fucking liberal, or you're a damn liberal, or you're too liberal. And I kind of just put it out there, I'm like, well... What's so wrong about being a liberal? I, you know, I'm not really big into politics. I don't really follow what president or what prime minister or, or whoever's doing really too much. All I see is shit that pops up in my news feed or stuff that I see on YouTube because I basically, I live on YouTube because I don't really have, um, like a TV or, or like cable or anything like that. And I, uh, yeah, so that's the only extent of politics I really see or hear about. I don't really do too much extensive research on it. I mean, I might Google the odd term or whatever here and there, just so I can keep up with what I'm reading and, you know, hearing about. Uh, but yeah, so I kind of looked up a teeny little thing on left-wing, right-wing, liberal, conservative, and... I guess I stand on the left-wing liberal politic scale, I guess. And basically, I was kind of wondering why were people kind of calling me and pointing their fingers at me uh, in a negative manner, manner and using the word liberal. And I'm like, okay, so I guess I should probably check out why they're trying to diss me and use the word liberal in the same sentence. Um... So yeah, and it kind of led to a discussion about it. Uh, it is usually the SJWs, social justice warriors, uh, that are liberal. You know, there's not really too many conservative or other government scale people that are social justice warriors. Uh, I get that the term warrior is used in satire. Uh, you know, they're not warriors. They're, they're not big, beefy, kind of, like, athletes who wield actual weapons and fight in battle. It's just a satirical, stupid term that's tacked on the end of the social justice terminology, and I get that now. That's I get it. That's stupid, but whatever. Um, I don't know. And I kind of asked as well, like, what's wrong with being a liberal? What's wrong with a little bit of social justice, you know? Because I, I'm about justice. I'm about things being fair and equal and, you know, right for everyone and... Uh, so basically, it kind of stemmed out and was like, oh, well, social justice is kind of an, an infringement on free speech. I'm like, all right, that's cool. Uh, I get that. You know, I'm about free speech. I believe you should have the freedom to say whatever you like, express your opinions however you like. Uh, the only problem that I can foresee with something like that is when it starts infringing on other people's rights. When your rights, where your rights end is where other people's begin. Like, like, if your opinion is just words and you're just, you know, putting it out there and, and you're, you're freedom of speech or you're speaking what's on your mind, that's cool. That's fine. I don't give a shit about that. That's cool. Uh, you know, social justice warriors, from what I'm hearing, are, are people that are trying to control what you can and cannot say. Um... I get the point of that. I get why it has good, you know, in connotations and good, you know, things attributed to it. However, it does infringe upon, you know, the freedom of speech, uh, which you can't do that. People are allowed to say whatever they feel like. Now, with that, you can't really say, oh, well, I mean, I can say and do whatever I want without any consequences. That would be where you're wrong. That would be, you know, you can say whatever you like, but you're not free from the consequences that those statements or, or, or you know, opinions might conjure up. Because, yeah, you could go up to some really aggressive, irritated black man, and you can call him the N-word. You're free to do that. But you're probably going to be punched in the face or worse. 
So that's what I mean. Like, you can say whatever you like, but you're not free from the consequences of your words or opinions. You could go, you can, you know, go up to some, you know, LGBT community member and call them a fucking faggot. You know, they might just be like, wow, you're an asshole, and walk away. Or, depending on how much testosterone <laughs> is flowing through them that day, they might just the karate chop your ass on the neck and fold you like a fucking toothpick, depending on, you know, how aggressive they are or how shitty of a day they're having. You know, so there's that. You can say and do, you can say whatever you like, and you can pretty much do whatever you like, but you're not free from the consequences of your, your actions or your words. So, yeah, I don't believe in censorship. I don't believe in infringement of the freedom of speech. However, I'm just telling you, you say the wrong thing to someone, and you're more than likely going to get your fucking ass fed to you, and that's just the reality of it. Not over the internet. Maybe someone will track you down and hunt you down and, like, come to your door and whoop your fucking ass if they're off their meds or fucking crazy, or if they see you out in public walking around and be like, Yo, bitch! Did you say that shit to me? Come stuff to my face and say that shit. And then, you know, it might actually affect you in real life with that shit you said on the internet. But for the most part, yeah, I mean, people are usually free of consequence when they speak their mind on the internet. Uh, you, you might get blocked. You, you might get removed as a friend. You might get banned from a page or a group. But that's pretty minimal. Um, but yeah... And I don't know where I'm really going with this. I knew I had something I wanted to just kind of say and discuss. Um, I know this whole fucking transgender bathroom thing is still a hot topic. I, I would really love to stop feeling compelled to talk about it. And I know there's more important shit in the world going on right now. Uh, I've, I've been accused of being... Uh, a little butthurt, I've been accused of being a little punk, I've been accused of being dodgy because of my shorter rant that I did like a few videos ago, my um, one about, you know, people's genitals not being any of your business. Uh, that rant, that rant was supposed to be a little satirical, but also like straight to the point and just kind of like a quick little thing. I. I, you know, people's genitals aren't your business unless you plan on, you know, getting romantically involved with them. Uh, when it comes to the bathroom, you know, people just... Uh, people just need to use the washroom, my friend. Okay, and if there, if there's some other asshole that plans on doing something evil or nefarious, then they're going to do it anyway. They're, they're going to find a way to do it anyway. It doesn't matter whether they're trans. It doesn't matter whether they're straight. It doesn't matter... It doesn't matter who the fuck they are. If they want, you know, a piece of your girlfriend or your piece of your sister or a piece of your daughter and they're in a public setting and they find a way to do it, they're going to do it. It doesn't matter who they are. If they are that kind of a predatorial human being, they're going to find a way to do it. So there are no safe spaces. Uh, sorry to burst your little bubble. In, in, you know, public, there are no safe spaces. Shit's going to go down. You know, there can be police back to back to back to back to back all around an event that's happening. Someone is still going to get through there and look like a class A act person, prim and proper, and they could still fuck shit up. They could still ruin your day. They could still rape someone, stab someone, rob someone. It's just, it's shit is going to go down if it's going to go down. So, trying to make these bathrooms a safe space, good luck. Okay, because all it's going to do is segregate more people, and it's going to push people away. And instead of being more of a you know actual happy-go-lucky community, I know that's not a thing that's ever going to happen. I mean, people can dream, you know, the American dream. I'm not American. I'm part of North America. You know, I'm not in the United States of America, but I'm Canadian. I'm North American, so I can say the American dream still. I think. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, I'm not against freedom of speech. Um, however, I am against bullying. I am against criminals, uh, to a degree. You know, there, there's certain laws that are a little ridiculous, and people are being arrested for things that really are not harming anyone. But, I mean, for, like, 
the, the majority of laws that you and me and your Uncle Ted are all like, yeah, that's, that's pretty wrong. It shouldn't happen. Like murder, rape, theft over $5,000. Like theft anyway. It's like st stealing someone's shit is, is just, that's not cool. Don't steal people's shit. Uh, so yeah, just basically major laws. If you break them, you're a fucking dickbag, okay? So don't be a dickbag. <laughs> and just, yeah. So bullies, usually high school or younger, are basically criminals of the school system in school. Like, they... Like before, they you know they graduate from high school and they start committing like actual felonies and assaults and and and, and robberies and, and you know just 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 being general this fucking idiot of society, useless. They're, they 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 are counterproductive to society and just scum. Before that happens, they are bullies in high school and and just the fucking shitheads. That, that, that gotta, like, make your life miserable, gotta, you know, point your ass out and make fun of you and and tear your ass down to make themselves feel good or, or make everyone, to make everyone laugh at you or, or to take the, the attention off of them for a few seconds so that they can feel better for, like, a little bit. Um, they are the criminals of high school, bullies. And for people, I'm getting to a point, don't worry, I'm actually getting to a point here. Uh, when people say, gr just grow a pair of balls, man, just, just, just shrug it off your shoulder and just keep going on with your day. Why do you got to make a big deal of people calling you a fag or, or, or people saying that you're, you're, you're this or you're that? Well, because, <laughs> because man, you, yeah, you could just look the other way and go, ah, what he says doesn't matter, whatever, you know, uh. I'm, I'm cool. I have confidence in myself. I'm a strong, you know, independent man or a strong independent woman or a strong independent LGBT member. What their opinions and what they say doesn't give a, sh you know, doesn't affect me. Doesn't doesn't matter. I'm not a victim. I'm not going to victimize myself. This didn't happen, but it did. It did though, man. Like that person went out of their way. Maybe not so much. Maybe it's just the natural thing to them be an asshole. But to tear you down, to, to imply that you are something that you are not, to get other people to think less of you, to get other people to laugh at you, maybe they slapped your books out of your hand as you're walking down the hall, maybe they slammed your ass up against a locker, maybe they tripped you on purpose to, you know, make everyone laugh at you, maybe they physically, like, beat your ass for your lunch money, maybe they thought you were a nerd or some sort of fucking... It's some sort of sub high school culture member that they didn't like or agree with. So fuck you. They're going to terrorize you and slap you up and beat you up and kick you around and, you know, steal your lunch money, rip your, your shirt, rip your homework, rip, just destroy or vandalize or assault you. And that's not cool. You, you are a victim. You're not victimizing yourself. You were a victim of of a crime, like, it's just, you know, they, they might be, min, you know, uh, a minor, uh, not a minority, what am I looking for here, a minor, you may be a minor, you may not have to stand up in trial as an adult and get charged with this stuff, but they have, they've broken the law, they're a bully, and it's happening in high school or, le or younger grades, but it's still, it's, it's, it's criminal behavior, so no, by, by, you know, Still, like, demanding some sort of social justice for these people being assholes isn't an infringement of free speech. It, it's more like giving them what they deserve. Standing up for yourself by either striking back at the bully and kicking their ass if you are physically able to do so shouldn't be met with reprehension, it shouldn't be met by suspension, the victim shouldn't be met with, like, whatever. The bully had it coming, okay? 
He did some stupid shit, was being an ignorant asshole, was, was making your life miserable. He deserves it. He deserves what he gave out. I mean, I'm not saying everything should be an eye for an eye, because that'll just leave everyone blind. But, at one point, the bully, aka the criminal, needs to know that his negative or her negative actions are going to have some, some, some severe consequences. They, they can't just be allowed to get away with doing whatever the fuck they want. Sure, they have the freedom to do it, they have the freedom of speech and whatever, but there are consequences for these things. I'm not, you know, the person isn't being a whiny little baby and shouldn't have to grow some balls. That just, you're supporting bullying by that. You're saying, oh, well, you know, man, you know, he may have been slapped in the face and shoved down the hall and he may have fell to the ground, but he should just suck it up. You know, he should grow some balls. Okay, so maybe he's not physically able to stand back up, dust himself off, and fucking knock that bully out. Like, maybe he's not able to do that. Maybe he's just some skinny, weak nerd who just, he, who A, is physically unable to defend himself, or B, he doesn't like conflict. He didn't want to have to, you know, walk by that asshole and have that guy do that shit to him. You know, that doesn't make him a whiny baby. That just makes him wanting to live his life and do what he wants to do and just not have conflict. So the, the, the asshole that's doing this shit to him needs to have consequences. He needs to be suspended or, or charged and arrested. There needs to be consequences for people doing these things before they get out of high school and become legit criminals. Like fucking thugs on the street holding a knife up to you for your wallet or, or your iPhone or your, your fucking, your, you know, your bag of new tunes that you just bought at the local CD store. Like, has, you know, has no one watched Kick-Ass? <laughs> like, so, you, you, like, someone needs to stop these people and put an end to it. And they shouldn't, the bully shouldn't just be kind of in it, like, vicariously being told that it's okay to be a bully. You know, your victims should just grow a spine. They should just avoid you and not be around you. It's, it's you know, you're punishing the victims. Stop it. Do I need to roll up a newspaper and be like, no, bad. Bad authority figures. Bad teachers who say, oh, just look another, like, go to the other way. Don't go near him. That's not going to solve anything. The bully is going to find you. The criminal in high school is going to find you. And he's going to fuck your shit up because that's what he likes to do. That is how he gets off. That's his enjoyment for the day. I don't care why. I don't care if the bully's father slaps him around at night. I don't care if his, you know, uncle put his, you know, dick in his coffee and stirred it a bit and molested him a bit. That doesn't matter. Okay? I mean, it does. Because, you know, bad things are happening to him at home. But, I mean, that does not give the bully an excuse to go do the stupid shit that he's doing to his other classmates or, or, or stuff like that. That shit needs to be dealt with, obviously. Because being molested and abused at home is, is, is just, oh my god, terrible and just fucking should not happen, ever. Like, if you're a, a sick bastard like that or you've got, like, weird thoughts going on in your head, you just shouldn't have fucking kids, okay? Just take yourself to a therapy uh, therapist and go get that shit sorted out. And, or maybe, like, just, you know... Book yourself a room in the local psych hospital or something. But this whole uh, bully inadvertent supporting thing needs to stop. And this whole, oh, you're victimizing yourself stuff is bullshit as well. If the person legitimately feels like they were like harassed or, or assaulted or, you know then they're not victimizing they, themselves. They are a victim, and they have the right to defend themselves, or the right to press charges, or the right to tell an authority figure that this stupid shit is going on. They shouldn't have to endure it. I'm sorry. That's just... I know I'm kind of going off on a tangent here. I'm just trying to explain the, the difference between how I feel about freedom of speech 
my liberalismness, whatever, social justice warriors. Like I'm trying to explain all of how these tie together and and where I stand on it. That I know there's a difference between some of these things. Uh, but it's a big discussion, and I'm hitting 20 minutes right now, so I know this has taken a long time, and I apologize for that. Um, I'm going to do like a, probably a quick channel update of what's going to be coming on this channel eventually uh, after this, but just to kind of hit things that have been happening and my, my kind of stance on it, my views on it. Uh, please comment. Please leave me some information uh, how you feel about all this. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to call this video. I'll have a title up on it, I'm sure, but uh, definitely not a rant. I mean, it might be a rant, but I normally try to keep my rants from, like, five minutes and under. Same with my, my vines. I try to keep them to, like, 15 seconds and under. Uh, as well, I normally don't throw ads or, or shit on stuff that's under, you know, a minute or two minutes. So there's going to be an ad on this one. I apologize. Uh, I, I do want to make content, and I do want to eventually make this like a full-time thing, so you're going to see an ad on this one, but anyways, besides that, thanks for watching, please give me your opinions on this video, let me know what your feelings on, you know, liberalism, social justice warriors are, uh, you, what your thoughts on freedom of speech is, where the lines are, uh, where people's rights are involved, what your feelings on bullying is, uh, and, and victimizing is, and all of that stuff. Give me your opinions on it. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay sick. I'll see you in the next video.